Real quick, I want to mention five other uh, resources for other podcast directories. So even though iTunes is kind of, you know, podcast directory is the biggest one. It's the main player. It's the king of podcasting. There are other places. If you're going to do podcasting, there's no reason why you shouldn't get listed in some of these other areas because you can find additional people to download your podcast. And some people have had millions of downloads for their podcast episodes and many times they can get many of those downloads from these other areas. So the first one is an up, up and comer. I mentioned it. Google Play Music uh, is now listing podcasts. And so now you're reaching the whole other side of the device world. You know, you got iOS and Apple stuff on one side with iPhones, iPads and everything. But on the other side, you have all these Android devices, Android tablets uh, and even PCs. And so Google Play Music is a great place to get your podcast uh, listed and for, to have your episodes found. Another one's called the Miro Guide. Um, by the way, I'll link to all these in the resources section for this module. But that's another one that a lot of people insist that you need to get your uh, podcast and your episodes kind of linked to and connected to. Uh, there's another one called TuneIn. And if someone says, hey, find me a playlist on real estate, playlist, on, I mean, you know, podcast on real estate investing. If you say that into the into the new Amazon Echo, which is, by the way, you should research the Amazon Echo, an incredible runaway success gadget. Uh, it's a little, little thing that sits on a table and you can use it. It's all speech recognition. You just talk to it and it can play music or look up things or give you weather, give you information. It's kind of like Siri on the iPhone, but it's going to be more of like a household control. Amazon's putting a lot of money behind it and it has already been incredibly successful in selling I don't know how many they've sold, but imagine in the closing in the millions now. Um, but one of the things it's coded to do, if you say, you know, podcast on, you know, whatever, is it uses this tune in uh, directory. So you'll want to get listed in that. And of course, I'll link to all this stuff in the resources section. Another thing is called Stitcher Radio. Another great place where people find podcasts. And last but not least, if you go to podcast411.com, they're kind of the definitive podcast directory of directories. They have almost 200 uh, other podcast directories and, and apps that actually help with podcast discovery, where you can go and get listed uh, for your podcast and your episodes, just to have all these other places uh, to have your podcast and your episodes found. So as you can imagine, there are so many avenues for you if you do a podcast. And by the way, you can repurpose existing content so you don't have to create a new show like I've already explained. I would just recommend you do that if you have any kind of recordings or content already and just blast it out to all these places. You know, even if you don't do a perfect job with it, somebody's still probably going to stumble upon, you know, what you've uploaded. And even if you just get, you know, 100 new opt-ins a month from just spending a couple of hours initially or paying someone to just set up the podcast and go and submit to all these places, it's well, well worth it because you know those are free leads and free customers. But many times you may be able to get thousands of new leads, uh, new opt-ins a month by leveraging podcasting. And again, this is an area to keep an eye on because it's really starting now to come into its own and reach kind of what I would call podcasting 2.0 for the industry. And I think it's really getting ready to take a major leap forward uh, so definitely check it out.